guys, how's it going? Anthony with Tech Untangled, and today I have a super exciting unboxing for you, the Neon Nintendo Switch. I think we all have been waiting for this, and if you're looking at the video, I'm sure you're probably going to be wanting one or getting one soon. So why not show you what's inside the box? Let's do it. So first, we have a picture of the actual console uh, here, and then the Joy-Cons here, the Joy-Con grip here, and then just the person grabbing the actual game console itself out of its dock, which is this right here. We have a Nintendo Switch icon, and then flipping it onto the top, we have just a Nintendo logo around the box on the back side, just another uh, picture of the Nintendo Switch console itself. Flipping around to the other side, we just have a couple pictures. And then same thing, just showing its uses and all of that good stuff there. Um, on the bottom, we just have serial number and what's included inside the box. So there's going to be a little tab here, we're just going to open that. And I flip it up and wow, this thing is tiny. So there you have just the actual tablet itself. You have the controller. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the Joy-Con here. So this is the blue. And this is absolutely tiny. Um, feels extremely nice in the hand. Super responsive. There are touch buttons right here that you can push. There's the left bumper. There is a trigger. And you have an Amiibo uh, tap button right there. And then just a D-pad and then a joystick. Extremely comfortable. I really like it. Let's go ahead and get into this one. And this color is extremely bright, extremely bright. Um, it's pretty much like a highlighter orange uh, mixed with a little bit of pink in there as well. Extremely bright. Um, I don't think the pictures on the internet show you just how bright this is. Uh, but yeah, really, really like it. Seems extremely well functioned. The placement are the placement is just absolutely amazing. The, it blows my mind actually how much better it is in person. Um, not just you know watching videos of other people play it and all of that, but this is extremely comfortable. I really really like it. Let's get into the actual console itself. We have the switch right here, and this is extremely light. On the side, you have the trays that will allow the controller to slide in. Flipping around the other side, you have the exact same thing. The Joy-Cons, I'll show you in one second, just slide right into there. On the top of the switch, you have where the game card goes. You have the vent holes, as well as the power and the volume up and volume down buttons, which are right there. Flipping around to the bottom, you have the USB-C, thank you Nintendo, to charge and also dock it. And then you have your stand, which you just lift up. And then below your stand, you have the micro SD card slot. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, I will definitely put a picture in there for you. All right, so let's connect the Joy-Cons. Wow, that was really easy. Next one here. Just slides in and there's a nice little click. So this is the entire console. It's extremely light. I love the coloring of this. It's really, really nice and vibrant. It 
feels really good in the hands. Let's go ahead and see what else is inside the box. I'll just put this like this. So I'm just going to take off this layering here. There's nothing in here. Next you have some, what looks to be some health and safety guides. Nobody cares about that stuff. On the far left side, you have an HDMI cable. Nothing too fancy, just a standard, what looks to be like a six foot HDMI cable. Go ahead and put that down there. Next, you have the power brick. Obviously USB-C. Let's go ahead and see what this is rated at. So this is rated 100 to 240 volts, 5 volts, 1 amp, and then 15 volts, 2.6 amps. So it's a pretty large charger, but um, the nice thing is you'll be able to use aftermarket chargers with the console when you're on the road, like using portable battery packs. That's a always, always a nice convenient feature instead of having to lug around a proprietary charger with you. Next. We have what looks to be the Joy-Con grip. This is not the Pro Controller, this is just the grip that will allow you to connect the controllers. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at that right now as well. So there's a little button on the back of the controllers. I don't know if you can see that, but it's on both, just up in the corners here. And then you push and it comes off. I'm going to do it to this one as well. I'm going to leave that there. And then you take these controllers and just go ahead and slide it in to the actual grip itself. Let's do it for this side. And now you have a full on controller. Very, very cool. Very ingenious design. It's extremely comfortable. Honestly, I cannot say it enough. This is extremely comfortable. They did a very good job with this. Good job, Nintendo. So the purpose of this, if you're wondering, is you have the actual controller here, but it functions wirelessly, so you can use this, and I can sit here and play my own Nintendo game while I'm out on the road, while I'm sitting here in front of you, um, I could sit here and play the game, which is an awesome feature. This is a first for a console to be able to let you have so many different features. You have a portable device, you have a home device, and it's powerful. It does 720p uh, for the tablet without the dock, and then once it does go in the dock, it will display full 1080p resolution, which I think is awesome. Um, I would imagine that they're doing the 720p because of battery power and battery savings. Let's go ahead and get the dock. It's really light. It's actually really small too. So on the front we have Nintendo Switch. There is a uh, little light down here that has a TV where my finger is pointing. And that is to show you that when it's connected to the TV, it is displaying the actual tablet part of the device onto the TV in full HD. <clears throat> on the side you have two USB ports, which is awesome. I'm not quite sure what you're going to use these for yet, but that is still nice to have that they're on the side for convenience. Flipping around to the back, you have an HDMI icon and Nintendo, and then a door that flips down, and it has HDMI out on the bottom, another USB, which looks like a USB 3.0, 
and the AC adapter, which is USB-C as well. So that's really nice that everything is just all USB-C. And then once you have your cables come in here, you'll be able to tuck them inside there so that way it sits nice and convenient by your TV without those wires hanging down. Um, so that's the dock. Looking at the dock inside, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but there's just like a little guide in there that allows you to slide the switch in its place. So let's go ahead and try that out. So you're just going to take it and then place it just like that. Wow, it's it's as simple as that. And that's the entire console right there. So technically, you could be putting this connected to your TV and then I can be playing it right here. That is just absolutely amazing. Um, let's see if there's anything else inside of the box. And there are the Joy-Con grip, looks like the bumpers, which will help prevent you from throwing your remote to the actual TV or dropping it. So there are two, I would assume, inside the box. I only see one. So these are directional. So these do matter which one goes to what. And the way you can tell is there is a plus on the controller here, and then there is a plus on this uh, leash here. So you just slide them on there like that. And now you have the full controller with tactile buttons and an adjustable leash. So that way you can put this on here and now you have something secure, so that way it doesn't fall off your hand when you're playing like one, two, switch or having um, boxing matches with your friends and family. So let's go ahead and put this one on. So in order to remove the actual leash from the Joy-Con itself, it's the same thing as when you remove it from that actual tablet portion of it. Just press that button at the very top and then this should just slide right up. It's a little bit hard, but it, that does work. And then it's right back to where it's just the regular controller. So you could go from having that to having a full console again just by sliding it like that and you're on the run all right all right guys it's that time i need to go play this thing so be on the lookout for a couple more videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.